finally starting to feel like winter out here in Utah. After an epic POW day at Brighton and a nice upper mountain day at Park City, it was time to take advantage of the long holiday weekend. In our first time ever, Luna and I made the nine hour trek to Truckee in one of the most historic snowstorms on record. This is probably going to be the gnarliest thing I have done with Luna, the gnarliest ski trip I've done. There's a huge storm that's moving in and we decided to go right into the heart of the storm here. Hopefully trying to chase some snow, explore the Tahoe area, and just enjoy the Christmas weekend. So luckily I was able to get out of work early today around noon. By the time I got on the road, it was about three o'clock and I'm currently making the eight hour trek down to California. So my goal is to make it all the way there tonight. It just started to rain, it looks like. So I'm sure we're gonna hit snow here before we know it, but the priority is to just be safe with myself and the van Luna. And hopefully we will, uh, we will have a successful trip, which means we just make it back in one piece. stop here of the trip in a place called Wells, Nevada, I believe, just off of I-80. It has been super incredibly windy, so my gas mileage is a lot worse than it usually would be. I think we're still about like five hours away from school. The gas stop number two, the roads are still clear. We're about two hours away from Truckee. We're almost there. So far, so good. The weather has totally changed, guys. As soon as I got on the other side of Reno, roads, uh, there's not a ton of snow on the roads, but it is just quite slippery and it's nearly impossible to see. This is pretty insane at this point. I'm pulling over to chain up. I'm still about 10 miles from Tar uh, Truckee. It's been like a 20 mile an hour crawl. There's a bunch of people on the side of the road. I'm gonna just try to chain up and see if I can take it slow. That was total chaos. It's currently 1221 in the morning and I really just got into Truckee. Um, just tons of snow, still snowing. And so now I literally, I'm pulled into like some shopping center plaza. There's a bunch of other cars that seem to just be buried in here. So I'm just gonna try to sleep here for a few hours, but uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. This is the current situation guys, it's about 4.30 in the morning. I heard the plows going all night and I'm a little concerned. I don't want them to plow me in, so I'm gonna try to leave a little bit, but I mean, it is just absolutely nuking. I mean, some of these cars are just completely, completely plowed in, but I'm gonna clear myself out of here um, and just see if I can go to kind of a holding place and get organized to head up to the mountain here. Wow, this is a shit ton of snow. We have both chains on nice and tight, secure, and we even put the rubber tightener on there just so they they kind of all stay together. And if they do fall off, they come out to the outside. So one on that tire. And then also one on this guy. As you guys can see, it has not stopped dumping snow. It's just absolutely crazy out here. Well, 
I gotta be honest, that was a stressful trip trying to get to where we are now, which is in the Squaw Valley parking lot. I tried to take a little nap just because I got like no sleep last night. Luna actually does really well in the snow, even with two wheel drive. So super proud of her for making it up here. I definitely feel a bit out of it. So I just think I gotta just make some breakfast, make some coffee and just start to work my way onto the mountain. Look at this breakfast I just whipped up, guys. Like hash brown potatoes, three pieces of turkey bacon, scrambled eggs with cheese, some hot sauce. It's gonna be a good, good day, good way to start the morning. And then there's this current mess. So lots going on this morning, trying to get ready for squad. Almost seems like it's raining out. It's not really like snowing, it's just like rain. I did end up getting new boots, so this is my first time skiing them. <laughs> so that's a whole nother thing. We're dealing with today is completely new boots. So I'm not expect them to be an issue because it's essentially, it is the same thing, same size, but you know, new boots, they're gonna be stiff, all that sort of stuff. up to the top of what is called a red dog I believe and the lines are pretty long but they do move quick um, as a single so it's just it just feels wet like my butt is all wet from sitting on the lift and it feels like it's raining and not even snowing so I feel like I need like some windshield wipers or something for my goggles because it's just it's so wet I'm expecting like nice dry snow and it's just wet but anyways enough talking let's go Definitely really heavy snow. Way different than what I'm used to. It's actually kind of nice in there. Where am I going? Over here. I've done two little runs so far, all kind of in the same area. And now I've never skied in California before, um, really only Utah and Colorado, but I'm amazed how heavy the snow really is. So I'm just like waiting for the face shot, but I'm just staying like on top of it. So it's really fun. These kind of, these trees have been, been pretty cool. So visibility is low, wind is high, stoke is high. So I think I'm gonna now head over to the KT22 lift or whatever it's called you guys recommended now that i kind of got a few few laps of me and we'll start to sort of see what we can do off that
I don't know what these runs are called, but I've been hitting, I think it's like off the nose and then kind of straight off the nose even or something like that. But snow is really good. There's still a lot of like untracked stuff. So that's been a lot of fun and nice little steep narrow shoots. So that was great. That was great. anything the visibility's bad the snow is kind of hard to ski so it's like and there's cliffs everywhere right so it's kind of like taking your time making sure you don't go ski up a cliff or something so i think it's like shoot 75 or something it might be called but it's kind of off to the side of kt22 so not right under it the snow is actually good in there it's not as heavy it's really grippy so i've been enjoying uh kind of doing some stuff off there but i can only imagine this place like when it's fully open and there's like good viz like this would be this would be pretty insane. down on that blind spot? Uh -huh. All good? Yeah. Sick? Yeah, there's a cliff to the right if you want to go left, but it's all clear. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right, thanks, dude. All day. I can now say that I've been to Squaw Valley for whatever that's worth. I know it wasn't like the most intense day and I actually had basically all of the upper mountain closed still. So really the only things open were that red dog and KT22 really were like the main main lifts to actually get some skiing stuff off of. So I wanna to try to get back down into Truckee before like next set of storms come in, just so I'm kinda of down 
down in town a little bit. It is Christmas Eve, so maybe I will just check out the town before it gets too dark. But anyways, sick day. Let's head back down to Truckee. Found a parking spot in downtown Truckee here. I think I kind of missed all of the, the light as it is quite dark, but whatever. I think I'm just gonna walk down Main Street, see what's going on, check out the town of Truckee because I feel like sometimes in the winter, we get up and we just go right to the ski resort and then we stay there and then I never really see like the places I'm actually in. So this would be a way to check it out. It is Christmas Eve. I'd like to be surrounded by some people. So let's see what we got. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my I think I found a spot for the night. It's just gonna have to, to work. It's just kind of like an industrial area here. Um, hopefully I can get some sleep. <sighs> it's gotta be one of like the longest continuations of a vlog. It was over 24 hours long of a day um, for this vlog. So it just feels like, it, it feels chaotic. All in all, Squaw was a dope mountain. Like there's no doubt about it that that is a, you know, a legit real, kind of snowbird type mountain. The snow difference is remarkable. I mean, I'm I'm so used to dry blower powder snow basically. And as soon as I touched the snow here, I could tell how much heavier, stickier, more wet it was. Where even with like a foot of new snow, I don't think I got even like a single face shot really. Hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Holidays aren't the same for me really anymore as I grow, get older. Yeah, that could be a story for a different time. So I'm gonna eat this yogurt up and then just go to bed because I need to. So I'll see all you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching guys. Take it easy. Peace out.